Here's my motor going with the ignition coil turned off. This is the amp intake. You'll notice it's 10 milliamps. This is hooked up to my capacitor. I have 33 and a half volts left in the capacitor. I'm barely lighting my night light, but it is lighting. Only using 10 milliamps. This is with the ignition coil turned on. Using 110 milliamps now. Look at the voltage rise. Look how bright that night light is. This should rise to about 130 to 150 volts. Using only 110 milliamps. Hear that coil taken off? There's my night light. Brighter than it's ever been. It's brighter this way than it is in the and in, plugged into the socket. There's 140 something volts. Hundred and thirty something. We shut this off and hook it up to a battery to charge. It'll take a little while for that power to drain out. Might like stays on for a little bit. Let me hook up the battery now. That's the power after I'm charging my battery, or left in the capacitor, 12.9. This is the milliamps I'm using, 50 to 60 milliamps. You'll notice the more power you use, the less amps it takes in, as long as I can get it to use all the power to make my neon go out. This is with the battery off again. You'll notice my neon. There it goes. It's over almost 120 volt, 120 volts in the capacitor now. Using 120 millivolts. There's my night light. There's my coil. I just have the magnet sitting next to it. I can move it around, get a little more power out of it. Seems to work pretty good right where it is, so around 100 milliamps. Still get around 120 volts left in the capacitor after a load of 110 from a night light. That's it.